Hey fam, so I just watched the new show called Unfollowed on Showmax where they had a sit down with Lady Zamar and she finally just spoke about the interaction or the allegations against Us Java. You guys, um, it's the first time that I actually gave myself the time to actually just listen to her and just experience it from her perspective, basically. You know, um, we all know that obviously the case was thrown out prior to it getting to court. However, her version still does matter. You know, she was extremely emotional on some parts and to be quite honest certain things um, that she said or communicated during that interview actually made a lot of sense um, they actually um, things that people can relate to as females you know being out there in spaces where men dominate and whatnot certain things can happen and you find yourself trapped also i'm not saying it happened or it did not happen i am just unpacking what i heard and understood from her sit down um on the show unfollowed she explained just how terrified she has been you know um there's something about fear fear can make you stay in spaces where you know you don't belong you know that um your freedom actually will liberate you but you are stuck because of fear and that is one of the reasons that people have said um she was lying because she didn't leave. Why did she stay and dated the man? You know, and she explained it in depthly. Like I stayed because I feared. I feared that um, I could be killed. I feared that I I could lose my my life. I could lose my career. It it was just a lot of things, you know. And when someone has so much power over your life, whether they they threatened you or whether you just feel the aura either way it's valid because she felt it she also explained just why she did not go back and force for the case to actually be um sent to court why didn't she fight after the case was thrown out at that initial stage basically she spoke something so profound that she decided to choose her mental health she decided to choose herself and that is so important because now she is um diagnosed at this point with depression and post traumatic disorder and these are very important for you as an individual who's um suffering from these things to actually just deal with them and you know choose yourself really so that you can move on she got what she felt she needed from just speaking out which was a just setting herself free because she feels that she never had to deal with him after she spoke out she explains that that day when she publicly spoke out she was never contacted by him ever again and that set her free and that is what she actually needed she didn't need people to be on her side she didn't need people to believe her she just wanted to speak out and she thought that was her only way to actually disarm her perpetrator her um assaulter you know she was set free on that day whatever happened afterwards was okay you know she was willing to deal with the repercussions as long as she was set free and no one could hold her hostage anymore she was just free from just that fear of speaking out and what not on a lighter note she shared a list of simple rules for dating lady zamar Number one on that list is that you can't speak to exes or women you've slept with 
in any capacity. <laughs> Number two is your phone isn't more private than my lady bits. Treat it and me accordingly. And number three, lies, cheating in any scale of offense. And number four, disregarding my feelings is the same as hitting me. And number five is be clean, take a shower and wash your bum bum. And number six, love yourself and treat your body like it's sacred. Number seven, all the resources meant for me cannot be shared with other women. And last but not least, treat me with love and kindness. I mean, I like the list, you know, and um, if she is still dating her boyfriend or any other potential partners, they literally kind of have a blueprint on how to get her or how to make her and keep her happy. What did you guys think? If you have watched the show, please share down below.